The Intel effect in the Silicon Heartland it can be felt really all over Boomtown as Central Ohio prepares its roads, housing, and workforce for what is to come. Tracy Townsend joins us now live from Bridge Park with more on Intel's impact. And Tracy is really having a ripple effect across the area. Let's talk about that ripple effect. We're talking about a $28 billion ripple effect. That's the chip factory investment in Licking County. It's going to bring 3,000 new jobs to the region. It's very exciting. We talked with the mayor of New Albany, Sloan Spaulding, and that's a city that's really expected to grow right along with Intel. If you've been out in that area, you have seen it, in fact. The mayor says the population could grow from 11,000 residents to 18,000 in the next 10 years. And as it grows, Mayor Spaulding says he's just as concerned as residents on how to keep New Albany having that special feeling that it has. That small town feel is super important to our residents that live there. Um, I, I love some of the you know Central Ohio communities like Dublin. Dublin's a you know beautiful community, but. I don't think New Albany wants to be 45,000 residents. Uh, we really want to have that small town feel um, and we're going to work hard to keep it. All right, so that is, of course, uh, the mayor of New Albany tonight. There is a special edition of 10 TV News that starts at 530. Angela Ann is going to take a look at this boom town. She traveled to Texas to um, just outside of Austin where Dell Technologies set up their headquarters and she learned how some of this can affect the communities in which people live, how they're adjusting to the high traffic and what the city planners did to make everything work there. I wanted to bring in with me this morning the development director of Dublin, kind of Jeremiah Garcia come in. Uh, you're the economic development director in the sure. city. So we were talking about what was here just, what, five, ten years ago? That's right. Rich Park. That's right. So obviously Rich Park has transformed uh, a part of Dublin on the east side of the river over the last ten years, and it's been exciting to be a part of that and work with many uh, development, public and private, to make this uh, development a success. So it's gone from the driving range, you said? And That's right. And a stoplight that you couldn't turn left, and now the, the, the roundabout of all roundabouts, and but yet more importantly, a, a, a world-class mixed-use development with the signature bridge here in Dublin, Ohio. Mm -hmm. Well, we really appreciate you allowing us to come in and host um, our kickoff here this morning. Can you talk about the fact that we are talking a lot about Licking County and Intel and New Albany, but there's a little bit of an effect here in, in Dublin. Yes, it is obviously a, a, an impact like that of a $28 million, a billion dollar investment uh, in Central Ohio is uh, being felt but we're embracing it and uh, Delvin specifically has uh, adopted its own strategy related to Intel and its suppliers and many of the other uh, professional services firms that are going to be supporting that for generations to come. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's not our first uh, shot at that. You know, just 30 years ago, we had a project called Honda that made an announcement just uh, just uh, west of Dublin, mm -hmm. and uh, we've seen the effects of that over the last 30 years, and we know that we were successful with that, and see the transformation that has had, and we look forward to doing the same with Intel. Well, before you leave, talk to us about how you've managed to maintain that feeling that draws people to Dublin as a place to live. Yeah, right, so we pride ourselves on being a global city of choice, and with that, uh, it takes a lot of intentional planning and intentional investment in infrastructure, mm -hmm. and making sure the quality amenities and quality of life are provided not only to our residents, but literally uh, visitors from across the world. Mm -hmm. And so we spend a lot of time being very intentional about the decisions we make every day to make Dublin uh, what it is today. And I get a, a, the opportunity to talk about that literally across the globe. Mm -hmm. And we see investments coming from all across the country every single day and, and folks that are uh, thinking, try, trying to make Dublin their home for their business and for their personal home as well. We have to be really proud of what's happening right here in Bridge Park. It yeah. is beautiful. It is. Right. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for joining us in Dublin today. Thank you. We appreciate it. We love the coffee, the tea. You all are all so welcoming. We appreciate that. All right, Clay, we'll send it back to you in the studio. But that is clearly what's happening here in Bridge Park in terms of Boomtown. Yes, absolutely. Tracy, thank you. And